Namaste, Namaste Priya. You. Namaste. So I'll briefly introduce you, then you can give you a share, Didi, based on these indicators within 20 minutes. So Neetu Didi, Neetu Chauhan Didi, she is in the head of the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, uh, Echelon Institute of Technology. She attended the USB introductory workshop in April 2022 and USB 2 in June 2022. And since then, she has been participating in the volunteering activities of, of uh, in, in FAQ part. Though she is not able to attend for the entire day, uh, whenever time permits, she joins the FTP. She is regularly attending the weekly meetings on Saturdays, uh, the Northwestern region. She is attending the USB 2, USB 3 for the first time in this morning session. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Neetu Chavandidi for her sharing in the morning session. That's it. Neetu Di, over to you. Thank you, Sunil Bhia. Uh, am I audible, Bhia? Yes, very clear. Please yeah. go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, namaste to all. Namaste, Sharmila Didi, Sunil Bhia, Tara Bhia, Umar Bhia, Yashwan Bhia all the panelists and my dear co-explorers. And my gratitude also to all who are joined here to give me this opportunity and to be a part of my journey of self-exploration. My name is Nitu Chauhan and I stay in Faridabad with my family. And in my family, I have one daughter, my husband, my in-laws and my brother-in-law, sister-in-law and their son, they stay in Gurgaon. So we often go there to meet them. And my parental family, they all stay in Chandigarh. And I was brought up in a joint family, which has a very strong impact on my living. Currently, I am in Echelon Institute of Technology. It sits in Faridabad. And I was uh, associated with this UHV family in April 2022. And since then, I am exploring slowly, though the process is very slow. But yes, I am continuously exploring uh, whatever I get the, wherever I get the content. And based on that content, I am spending my days. So... Regarding this shift in my understanding about the human being, especially the self. Before joining UHV also, I was aware that I am body and soul. But more focus was there to take care of the body. I have read different books and tried many things to know myself. But still there was no clarity about how to proceed. Uh, even during the COVID time when I was at home, I was reading so many things, different books. But there was not that much clarity about what I want to do, what is the purpose of life, or who am I. But when I joined UHV, I liked the way proposals were kept. And I was able to explore because they had a very specific way of letting people explore about themselves so after uhv now i am clear i have a clarity about how to proceed uh, i have a way to find and work upon myself now i am able to see that myself and the other self are similar so this thing i came to know through uhv only earlier i used to think that i am different and the other is different and I used to think that I am different because of uh, my sanskar. And the other is different because of his or her own sanskar. So I used to think like this, that the self is different for different human beings. But now I am introduced to the nine values uh, uh, about the human beings. And uh, I can see that all the values are same for all the selves. So whatever is naturally acceptable to me is naturally acceptable to the other self also. So this is what I have understood about the self, that it is not just body, it is self, uh, body plus self, and all the self are similar. Regarding nature, earlier also uh, I was concerned about nature, 
but after uhv i came to know about the four orders and i was able to see my participation in the four orders so i am able to see now that it is very less though i was aware of it earlier also but how i can participate for fulfillment of all the orders is more clear now so i will give you an example here i shared it one of my sharings also that earlier if any lizard or insect they came inside my house so there was a feeling of opposition so i will try to shoo it away or i will you know, sometimes tell my husband or someone else to kill else to kill the insect or the lizard if it is not going out it is roaming inside the house only so but now i know that even if i am not doing anything for them i can just let them live that is also my participation this i came to know through uhv only that if i just don't do, do anything i am not associated with any ngo or any uh, animal welfare or any other kind of this organization but still just letting them be there is also <clears throat> my participation for them so just being in a responsive mode for them is also my participation so this is what i have understood and i am trying to increase my participation because until before joining uhv i was doing my part but when someone asked me what is your participation then i had very little to tell so this thing is clear that i have to increase my participation about nature and all the other orders also for the human order but for all other orders also uh, regarding the existence i have read all that exists coexistence is existence and submergence in space but i am yet to see because even now i am not able to see space so it is something which i think i need to work upon i am able to see that harmony and relationship are there between all the four orders and units are submerged in space all this information is there but i think i need to work more on this existence part for me right now it is that we are there we are existing and there is a law of being that all of us are following so that is what i am able to see at this moment and uh, uh, there is a relationship between the units that also i am able to see and uh, the definiteness and self organization is there in the uh, units but i am not able to see the definiteness for me uh, because uh, if i am you know if i talk about the conduct so if uh, i am talking to if i am yeah if i have to do some work and i am not able to do then i think that oh i have so many other things to do so i forgot but when some one other some other human being uh, my husband or one of my students they have to do something and they forget then i start doubting the intention so this way there are many examples that i see that my conduct is still indefinite but when i see the other orders by order animal order plant order i observe that their conduct is definite so there is definiteness in their conduct but for me it is still not that definite uh, but the self organization i am able to see in all the orders even in myself i am able to see the self organization how my body is working my system yeah, all my food habits how they are affecting me and how my body is organizing itself that i am able to see so about this the human conduct i discussed and many times i also observe i practice exercise one and i am able to see that my behavior is not same for all it is different though the family circle it is growing bigger day by day but a lot more awareness 
is still required in me so i am practicing exercise one more and exercise two a little less these days because uh, when i am observing myself by the self so i have to observe every moment what are my feelings thoughts and expectations i am observing but it is not always so when i am aware i am able to see the naturally acceptable feelings for the other but when i am not aware i am in opposition and this is hap happening frequently uh, for example last last week the classes started for uh, third fifth and seventh semester and uh, time table was to be prepared and we are uh, using a software for preparing the time table and uh, we has we started some uh, soft skills and uh, uh, some value added coding skills program for the students and there was a fixed schedule which the higher authorities shared with the time table team and the time table team prepared the time table and the next day that schedule was changed so the time table was to be changed again because all the classes they were clashing and so it had to be changed then because though it was being made with, with this help of a software but still it takes time so the entire team one faculty member from each department they prepared the time table again and then the third day this that schedule was changed again and when i came to know that the schedule was changed again and classes are to start from tomorrow and we have to change the time table again so there was this opposition in me about the higher authorities why they are doing this again and again they they don't know how much time it takes to create the time table even using a software they, they don't value the time of people and like this i had this opposition inside me but one thing that i could see is that i do not express it outside earlier i used to express it the moment it is there inside but then after a few moments i realized that okay they also don't have the control over this thing because all this is depending on the external agency who is providing the trainers so like this i am observing myself sometimes i am able to see even before the feeling of opposition comes but sometimes i am able to observe it after the you know, after i am in opposition but yes one change that i could see after practicing this exercise one is that i am not reacting any more i am in disharmony within for some time but the reaction outside it is not there i am taking some time myself only to say something or to take any action so this way i have uh, think i think i have reduced conflict because if for everything i am in disharmony then it becomes very difficult to work so practicing exercise one as i am practicing it more so i think i am able to observe myself more uh, in any any situation and one thing that i observed regarding this exercise one is that uh, the frequency and the duration of my this respond response is also reducing uh, like i earlier i used to get angry frequently so that frequency has reduced and the duration for which i was in disharmony that duration is also reduced uh, this i could tell about exercise 1 uh, regarding exercise 2 observing the body by the self uh, observing the self the body and the interaction between the two i am able to see that body and self are two different entities and uh, there are interactions between the body and the self and most of the times in my case i see that it is guided by my preconditioning and my sanskar and i am working towards right understanding so many times i am able to see that it is 
or based on the right understanding that i am reading the sensation but many times it is still there that on the basis of my sanskars i am taking the decisions many times like uh, in uh, my mother is very religious and she is a pure vegetarian and she eats very little and from where she will eat that is also very you know specific she will not eat anything from anywhere and regarding the non vegetarian food she, she she never had it and she is like against it so this feeling is very strong in me also whenever i see someone eating non vegetarian food though i am married to a family where everybody is eating non veg but except me but still i had this this feeling of telling others that you should not eat this this is harmful for your body there are so many other things that you, you can eat but then the way of telling others to not eat non veg food this is based on my sanskar i am not using my right understanding to tell others about the robacks of non vegetarian food or uh, leave it in the form of a proposal so it's it sometimes comes to me but later on so but now i have started practicing it with my daughter that i have started giving proposal to her that okay you can just observe you can just think about it you think about it and then you eat it from where this came you just think about it from where it came and then you can eat it so many times if she is if she if she could control that sensation of taste then she leaves the non veg food but yes she has not left eating it uh, all together she is still having the non vegetarian food and the change i would like to change uh, share the change in my living is that uh, earlier i used to be very preachy one thing that i learned from uhv and i like it very much is the way they propose things the proposals and verifying on your own so this thing i am doing myself also i am not forcing my students or my colleagues to do certain things that i like i just propose that okay you just try this if you like it then you can go for it if you don't like it then you can just leave it so same thing i am doing in my family also i just give a proposal that okay you can try this if you like for example with non veg food i told my daughter that if you just observe this food and you just think about the source from where this food came and then you eat it and if you can verify on your own whether you like it or not and uh, another shift i already mentioned that uh, the reaction outside it is it was very frequent earlier and instant also but now uh, there is no reaction outside and inside also i am not disturbed for longer duration it is very less time is very less so i'll just tell about my commitment so apart from whatever i am doing till now i would like to contribute in other activities also uh, this morning session i would like to continue because uh, there are still many things that i uh, need to work upon uh, like uh, whenever i see that b1 and b2 block i am able to see myself up to the level of understanding only and not beyond that selecting tasting analyzing i am i am all there in the b2 block and some part of me is there in the b1 block but i am not there completely in the b1 block as of now so yes i would like to continue this morning session and in other activities also i would like to increase my participation with whatever time i have and one thing i would like to share here is that for many new last many months the there were these fdps going on continuously though i was not joining them regularly but i had some good feeling that okay whenever i have time i will do this and for the last 2 3 4 weeks it is not there so i am missing it so i think it is something i would like to be associated with throughout my life yeah thank you i hope i completed it within time yeah thank you thank you sunil bhaiya thank you nidhi didi nice you completed that within time 
a nice sharing didi now yeah, uh, thank you. yeah before we go to the questions we straight away go to shambla didi uh, for her comments and remarks regarding both the sharings didi over to you ji yeah. um neetu ji is sharing uh, neetu ji we keep hearing you um, with your questions and your observations in the sessions and uh, having done the first fdp just in march of last year i think it's very creditable that in this short period of time you are able to observe many uh, many of the points within yourself um of course like you said uh, not a work has to be done we have to do a little deeper exploration but in this very short time uh, you have been able to um see some things note the changes in yourself and also be able to express it so that is useful for others also um you mentioned that you are uh, you were attending the fdps when you had some time are you also doing any voluntary activity in, while you are doing that attending of the fdp ji didi i am in the faq team so i am nice. noting down the questions during Very the nice. sessions nice so this will help you uh, i'm sure you must have noticed that that yes yes didi even people are asking questions so that definitely helps me also while mm-hmm. articulating the questions also i i explore myself that okay this is my question also So many things i have learned by just writing the questions only yes very nice so um of course we expect you of course to continue and wherever you are able to um you know increase your participation like you said you wanted to that google form is available and also um you can contact any of the volunteers depending on the time available to you you can yes, participate yes, yes. 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 are there any newsletters which are released for uh, this uhv yeah the uh, aprajita ji will be able to okay. tell you more about that maybe you can contact her yeah directly yes, because uh, i read somewhere that there are newsletters and i would mm-hmm. like to yes. be a part of that also very nice very nice you can contact aprajita ji yes uh, yes didi i will definitely talk to didi Yes. So yeah. very thank nice. You, thank you. Thank yeah. Thank you. You are a very big part of this exploration, Didi. So <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you to from the core of my heart. Because many times, just by listening to other people's exploration and your answers, also I am exploring more. Thank you. Yeah, it is the content and our own exploration really that makes all the difference, right? Information we get from many places. but when yes. we explore within ourselves that's when we really start seeing things so uh, yes 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 all the very best